In this chapter, we're working with reading data in from files. We have a file here. It's a .txt file. And it's just a list of teas and coffees, just something I want to read in and print on the screen. What you can't see is that at the end of each one of these lines, there's a new line symbol that's invisible. So to read in a file, I'm doing everything in the main method. I've got it up here. I call it here. I first define my input file. This is my variable name. And I have it opening inventory.txt with R. R is to read. We're only reading. We're not making changes. We're not overwriting. Then I'm creating in a variable named record which is going to be equal to my input file.read line. Now if I wanted to pull the whole file in at once, I could do that by just saying read. But I prefer to pull in one line at a time. This would allow me to count or do other things with them so that I can have a counter. I could add things up. I could do things one line at a time. It's a little more common to do things that way. So I'm using my while statement, and I'm checking to see that the next line doesn't come in empty. So as long as the next line being read in isn't blank, it's going to print the record, and then it's going to do another record input file read line. So you'll notice that I have one out here. I have to do what's considered to be a priming read from the old phrase of priming the pump. I have to do a first read so that the while statement has something to check. So that's done outside of here. When I'm completely done with that file, it's important to close it. It's important to have to close the input file when you're done. Make sure you include the parentheses at the end. I had those off earlier and it created an error. So when we run this file, you'll notice that I get a very large space because with the print it's giving a new line for each but there's also a new line hidden at the end of each of these lines so if you want to get rid of that you're going to have to add this statement record equals record dot r strip this is stripping characters to the right at the end and it's getting rid of the slash new line we'll also want to do that on the priming read. And then when I run it, that will give me the actual results that I'm looking for.